This is a legacy episode of the Lesbian Historic Motif podcast, originally released as part of the Lesbian Talk Show podcast group. Some references may be obsolete. The show looks at lesbian-relevant themes in history and literature, has interviews and discussions about current historical fiction with queer female characters, including fantastic versions of the past, and presents new original historical fiction for your enjoyment. Last week, we had Ellen Clages on the show to talk about her own writing. In this segment, she's here to talk about historical fiction featuring queer women that she has particularly enjoyed, written by other authors. Welcome, Ellen. Hi, thank you. Lovely to be back. So why don't you tell us about uh, some book that has particularly stayed with you or that you really enjoyed? The author that keeps coming to mind is a woman named Sarah Waters. Oh, yes. She's a favorite. Who's British. (laughs) And and I read The Paying Guests. Actually, I, I, I have to confess, I didn't actually read it. I listened to it on books on tape because... Uh-huh. I was sick and I was in bed and uh, I had hurt my back and so I couldn't sit up and read. So I was listening to it on, on tape. And I actually am really glad that that was my introduction to Sarah Waters because it was a British narrator and I think I would have missed the class differences uh-huh. between the, the the main characters if it hadn't been somebody narrating them with completely different accents so I could tell that one was well-educated and wealthy and one was not. Uh-huh. And she makes it clear, but listening to it is very different than reading it. And I've since gone back and read, not sure that I've read everything she's written, but I've read a three or four more. And The Paying Guests is, I think, still my favorite. Uh-huh. Um, That's interesting because usually when people mention her books, they go straight for Tipping the Velvet or Fingersmith. Or Fingersmith, yeah. Which, of course, are the ones that have been made into miniseries. Yeah. Tipping the Velvet's been made into? I didn't yes. know that. Well, I love The Paying Guests because it's set in post-war Britain. I think it's, I can't remember if it's post-World War One or post-World War II. I think, I think it's, it's post-World, post-World War One. One. Yeah, I think it's like in the 20s. And I am not particularly enamored with the 19th century or anything earlier. Uh-huh. I'm a very, very 20th century <laughs> when, I, when it comes to historical fiction. So that was a time period that I have written about and have read extensively about and could identify with. Uh-huh. Uh, so it was a good gateway drug to, to Sarah Walker. Uh-huh. But she's just somebody that, sentence by sentence, I would love to be able to write like her. I mean, it's just gorgeous prose. Uh-huh. Do you have any other books you'd like to mention? I love Nicola Griffith's work. Hild was not expressly queer, but it was. I think it's my favorite of her books just because it's a big thick book about the seventh century and I was on a jury and I thought oh I have to read this but it's going to be a pain and I read it in about 23 hours without I think I slept in the middle but I couldn't (laughs) put it down and it's just brilliant and pretty much everything that she's written I've loved the Oud series which which of course isn't historical per se it isn't historical but it's queer and it's well at this point it's historical because it's like (laughs) in the 80s but Nicola has just gotten the rights back to it, and I have, and I, she just blogged about the fact that there's going to be two more odd books oh. uh, sometime in the next like five years, which uh-huh. just excites the hell out of me. Ellen Kushner's Swords Point and the, the Tremontaine series, which is, I don't even know what you call it. It's a, it's, it's yeah, from it's, Serial Box, so it's yeah, synop- it's an audio. It- I listened to it on audio, yeah, um, but, but it also appears in print. But yeah, it's a serial. It, well, it came out, it's, you could listen to it, you could read it online, and afterwards it came out in print, which yeah. is very non-traditional. And it's set in a, you can't really call it directly historical, but it's very clear that the setting is very 18th century, very European 18th century. At least that's how it reads well, to it's, me. Well, it's, it's, it's historical, but it's not necessarily our 18th century. Right. It's, you know, it's it's a multiverse kind of thing. Yes, um, and, and almost everyone is queer in some fashion. Yes. <laughs> so, Ellen, are there any other resources for uh, queer historical fiction that you uh, think our listeners might be interested in? In the current political situation, I know that all of us are concerned about gender issues in a way that we probably haven't needed to be for, you know, a decade or more. And I would like to point people to the Tiptree Award, uh, which is www.tiptree.org. 
and it, it, we are in our 27th year, and it is an award for the science fiction and fantasy that best explores or expands gender roles. And if you go to the website, there is 27 years of lists of books that have been recommended. Obviously, what we think of as exploring or expanding gender has changed over a quarter of a century. But the books that are currently exploring what it means to be queer or trans or just non-binary. And if you go back 27 years, you can look at the books that were cutting edge then. So for people that want to, some of them are historical, some of them are not, but for people that are actually interested in a wider exploration of gender in genre fiction, the Tiptree Award is an absolutely fabulous resource. Thank you so much, Ellen, for sharing some of your favorite books with us. The titles we talked about will be in the show notes, along with links to your own work. Great. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Lesbian Historic Motif podcast. See the show notes for links to people and topics. Most shows will have a transcript linked as well. If you have a book announcement, a topic suggestion, or might like to appear on the show, please drop me an email. If you enjoyed this podcast, please rate it and subscribe on your favorite podcast app, and consider supporting our Patreon 